advice would be to never give up. Uh, my parents always told me in life to never give up on, on anything, and that's one thing I always kept in my mind when I was fighting him. As, as long as you don't give up, you fight back, you show him that you are strong, that you are one, that you're able to fight back and survive this and get out of the situation, I believe it's possible. Because at the end of the video, you can see him getting tired. Because the more fight you put, the, the more they, they want to give up and just stop. We have all seen this security video that was released in February. A woman caught on camera fighting off a man trying to attack her while she was working out alone in a Florida gym. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and for many women, the fear of being attacked is a daily reality. But there is something you can do. Nelson Neo and the team at Shield Women Self Defense provides classes for women and girls by training them on how to fight back. They're here with us today. Samantha is 13 years old. She'll be doing some demonstrations as well as Nico, who's 21. And Nelson, we all saw this video so frightening, but there are things women can do to protect themselves. Absolutely. There are a lot of things that women can do. Um, knowing what to hit and what to hit with mm -hmm. makes a huge difference. There are a couple of moves first standing up. Can you show us the first two? Absolutely. Uh, let's have Samantha first. So, um, so as he first approached her, you know, you notice how she pushed him away on the chest. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you push someone away, don't push on the chest. It's heavy. Okay. You push on the neck. Okay. Okay. So if someone come in too close, like this. Wow. Okay. And you lock this so I can't come back. Okay. okay. And then you grab the arm and you just start smashing. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so the, you come in close uh -huh. and then you smash with your knee. Using your body yeah. weight and strength. Because that's the thing. Yeah. A lot of women just don't feel naturally exactly. strong. Right? Exactly. Right? Especially compared to a man. Yes. Uh, even if you're being pinned very close, uh -huh. you can still move him away with your shoulder. Got it. Okay. Well, let's see Got the it. next move. Let's get Nico let's to try do that Nico one. coming in. Okay. So if I already grab her like this, boom, this close, mm -hmm. you just push away with your shoulder like that, boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, do that again. So from here, uh, actually, let me show you this way. So this is already tight like this. Mm -hmm. You push the shoulder, off, boom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you create distance, and then you just start smashing, boom, boom. All right, let's get so, into the next move. Ooh, yeah, the next move, we're gonna do um, grab from behind. Okay. Okay, grab from behind is the most common assault for women. Oh, okay. Usually they're looking for two things, women who are not paying attention, mm. so you're texting, talking on the phone, mm -hmm. so you can be easily ambushed. Mm -hmm. Two, someone who look like you're not gonna put up much of a fight. Mm -hmm. That means your body posture, you're slouching down, you're looking down, taking small steps, that's an easy prey. Mm. That's a good point. So yeah. when you're walking around, make sure you know what's going on around you. Mm -hmm. Just look around and know what's going on mm -hmm. around you. Okay, um, so if someone grabs you over the arm like this, boom, first thing she does is grabbing my hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she has some control. Mm -hmm. Move your hips out of the way, smash. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very good. Wow. Go Samantha. <laughs> Great job. Good job. Yeah. Okay. I love her beautiful so. smile when she's done it. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Samantha. Yes. So All right. uh, whenever. I think we need the mat for this the mat, next yeah, one. Let's okay, pull we'll the move mat that up and there. Push and it I love that bit. you have someone who's 13 doing this because it just shows no matter what age you are as a young girl, this yes. is unfortunately something young girls you're frightened of from such a young age. Agreed. You should always fight back. You're never too young. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And our summer camp for girls starts at uh, eight years old. Wow. wow. And then you have Nico, who's 21, and yes. she started when she was 14. 14. Yes. So you got a pro here. And you yes. felt so empowered that she wanted to keep doing it. All right, let's <laughs> yes. see this next Absolutely. move on the mat. Okay, on the mat, let me take this off. Now this is physical, so Sheba and I will not be doing okay. this. We're gonna, leave, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> leave this one to the pros. Yes. Again, Nico's been doing this since she was 14. She's 21 now, so she knows exactly what she's doing here. <laughs> yeah, so. When you are being, let's go this way, Nico. Um, when you're being pinned like this, for instance, mm -hmm. okay, you can't move anything in your upper body, mm -hmm. but you can lift up your hips, you bridge. Boom, nice. Wow. The, so, uh, the upper body doesn't have strength, but you thrust with your pelvis. Yes. Mm. Got it. It's thrust using your strength pelvis. where you do have it. So when you are on the ground like that, don't just try to move your upper body. Mm -hmm. Move your hips, move your legs and stuff. Got it.
All right, guys. So Nelson is joining us in studio today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for that demonstration. Oh, my pleasure. I love what you're doing empowering women, but I wanted to know what inspired you to want to do this kind of work. I started out uh, about 20 years ago mm -hmm. when a friend of my coworker was attacked while walking from her car to her apartment. Wow. Someone grabbed her neck from behind, smashed her head to the wall, beat her up, rip out her clothes. Uh, but good thing a car drove by, so he took off. But she's already a mess. She's yeah. barely five feet tall. Yeah. So after that incident, I did a lot of research on the internet and when I found out that every two minutes a woman is sexually assaulted in this country alone, I started putting together self-defense training specific for women against wow. sexual assault. Wow, I love that. I can tell your passion for wanting to empower women and make us feel more safe and like we can defend ourselves. So you yeah. teach the courses, yes. like some of the demonstrations yeah. that you showed yeah. us. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, and we have a, a summer camp for girls, mm -hmm. empowerment summer camp for girls. That starts from eight years old to 17 years old. Mm -hmm. We have like uh, over the summer about 300 girls and we train them every day that's amazing yeah and they get used to like uh, rough um, physical um, exercises and and it's it's good for them for the body mechanics how many classes does a woman or a girl typically need to, to feel comfortable to actually be able to defend herself um, everyone is different because everyone is different in their um, um, uh, like uh, athletic ability okay yeah but usually about five classes I would recommend at least five gotcha and you've yeah. done this internationally you've taught these courses all over yeah I teach in Tanzania for 19 schools and all the school principals and um, teachers also come that's in. absolutely that's awesome. amazing and what do you hear yeah. from the women and girls who take these it's classes? like it's all the same wherever I teach whether in Africa in in the US in uh, Mexico in Indonesia they all love it when they they, they love kicking the groin. <laughs> I was about to say, we also love to feel yeah. powerful, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. so tell us how folks can sign up. Uh, they can go to shieldselfdefense.com. All right, now, so Shield thank you so much for joining us and for that demonstration. You're doing okay. some really important work. All right, guys, thank and you. you can find this segment along with all the information on Shield Women's Self-Defense courses at kcalnews.com slash seen on TV. We'll be right back.